We're joined by the women's basketball seniors from left to right, Skylar McKenzie, Teresa Hendricks, Mackenzie Dufour, Abby Young, and Lindsay Moore, following a 54-50 victory over Suffolk University today. Uh, ladies, good effort. Obviously, uh, a really quality conference win, uh, but senior day. Uh, how much of this you guys can all answer, several of you answer, however you want to do it. Um, but how much does like a senior day event mean to you guys, your parents to come down on the court, photo ops, things like that? Not your last home game, but if it's a Saturday, so families can make it down. What does the day mean to you? That's I, mean, <laughs> I think with all our loved ones around, we try to put forth our best effort and try to give them a show. <laughs> so it kind of gives us, I don't know, like a... <laughs> Pumps us up, gets yeah, us ready to play, yeah. boosts us up. It makes us more excited to play, mm -hmm. makes it a fun game. Was it any, who, who, who was the, uh, you know, the one who was most likely to cry and who did cry? Mackenzie Dufour. No. This one. Lindsay Well, let, let's, let's, let's talk about Lindsay for a minute. Obviously, Lindsay, that's probably a tough day for you in some ways with the, the injury and not being able to play. Um, but still being honored, kind of probably a bittersweet moment, still getting the win. What so are your matters. feelings? It's all that matters. A w is a W. I mean, yeah, it stinks that I can't be out there, but I'm helping just as much on the bench cheering for him. So. Right. I mean, I, you're you're almost like uh, an extension of the coaching staff mm -hmm. now. You're you're out there cheering oh, yeah. the players <laughs> on, <laughs> yelling at the players, I hear, I hear yelling the at the officials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's the fun part. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> so you get to get away with that a little bit more than maybe you did as a player. So oh, you're, you're you're having a role at least still. So. It was good to see you honored as well today. Um, guys, so let, let's go to the game here a little bit. A slow start. You guys said you're really pumped up on senior day. Um, do you think it maybe overamped a little bit? Really a low-scoring first half, a low-scoring game. But at one point it was like 7, 8, 9 to 1, something mm -hmm. very, very slow start for you guys. We just couldn't buy a basket, I feel like. I mean, we were working hard. It just wasn't falling for us. And there was no rhythm at first. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was no mm -hmm. one that made that big basket, and then we all got pumped. Like, it took right. us a while to get to that point. The pace Once seemed kind of yeah. pace seemed kind of Once frenzied and out of control a little bit at times, and then they were everything was falling for them. It seemed like mm -hmm. big shots, kind of the opposite for them early. Um, Suffolk's always a good team, always a, a good program. They're right in the hunt, you know, to host every year a first round game. Um, last year, the Rams ended your season in in the uh, the second round of the GNAC tournament, correct? Um, is this any kind of, did any of you look back on last year's game thinking they ended our junior year, let's take it to them this year? Was that kind of something you thought about? I think beating them is always like a bittersweet win. Mm -hmm. Like they're yeah. not one of those teams we look to go after every single year. Because mm -hmm. I feel like not even just last year, ever since we were freshmen, freshmen. I think we played freshman them. Year was big. Yeah. We played them in playoffs. So. And they're just like us. It's a team we're always right. Always so it's a matchup thing where it's yeah. it's always going to be, it could go either way. Yeah. And today just a, to play. just a four point game. Um, what what changed for you guys in the second half? It was very low scoring early in the second half too. I think at one point, like eight minutes in, you guys had seven points in the second <laughs> half, and they had two. And it's like wow, what you know, this game just doesn't seem to ever get a pace to it. Uh, what changed for you guys in the second half? We took we did what we could control mm -hmm. on defense. We got the steals. We got what we needed to. Even though our baskets weren't falling. We were still working our butts off on defense, so that's mm. kind of what gave us our rhythm, I think. Yeah, the we went steals, for every loose the ball. boxing out, everything came together like it was supposed to. And then hitting those big shots yeah. motivates us to keep going. Right. And our teammates too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the Just bench. hearing them cheering for us, even if, even if we do something wrong, having them pull us out of it and making sure that we keep our heads in the game, I think helps too. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> now it seems like the uh, the bench has been kind of an underrated aspect this year. I'm glad you guys mentioned that because there are some players that play some major minutes coming off the bench for you guys. Uh, just kind of talk about them. A lot of them are young players, freshmen even, and they've played big roles. Talk about their development this year. Well, I think it's great to have a team that there is depth in the bench. A lot of teams we play have six or seven girls. Um, having freshmen step up, you can even see how much they've grown mm -hmm. over the season. Just through confidence, yeah. just mm -hmm. by helping them find their confidence and find their play, their role on this team. And we can rely on them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. There's no, oh my God, the freshman's going in. Like, we love them going in. It's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're such a deep team. I don't even know how teams scout us. Right. It's, well, they don't have that deer in the headlights. Randomly, we hit yeah. 10 threes, one game will hit. <laughs> 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 
Uh, today, one thing that was certainly a, a positive for the Monks was 18 field goals, 17 assists. So the ball movement was awesome. obviously <laughs> almost as good as it can be. Um, and, and just about everybody got on the board in the, with the assists. Uh, Abby led the way with 16 points, 8 Yay! rebounds. So everybody's kind of following Abby's stats here. Um, but Abby, talk about how you've been doing lately with, uh, you know, you've had to step up a little bit, I think. And you've had a great year, your best year so far. But with Lindsay out, I think you've kind of taken your game to a new level. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, I think it comes with more minutes. And, like, I know my teammates are relying on me, but... I also wouldn't be able to do it without them. They're the ones who pass me the ball every time. I'm not doing it on my own. So I think it's mostly on them, too, because they're getting me those opportunities. So. Right, with all those assists. And very she's very diplomatic she's of a tough you. Girl, That's true. I was a lot tougher <laughs> since I was a freshman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you had a, a pretty big shot there as the monks were coming back in the first half. You had a nice little baby left-handed hook shot. Is that something you've been working on? That's a nice play. Um, have trouble with that. I think you've always had that. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. That's actually, yeah. I've, that's kind of your repertoire anyway? Yeah. I was better at it in high school, to be honest with you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, I'm left-handed, so that's that one comes a little more naturally to me than a right hook. Ah, you lefties are tricky. <laughs> uh, well, guys, congratulations on the win today. Uh, good luck in the remaining uh, conference games here and heading into the playoffs. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.